So people ask me all the time why I like kettlebell sport, and I think the simple answer is just the, the number of challenges that it presents to the athlete. These challenges could range from technical challenges to psychological challenges to even the most obvious physical challenges. There's always something that the athlete can be working on. You know, getting your hand in and out of the handle just a little bit quicker, trying to relax just a little bit more on the next repetition to conserve energy, trying to stabilize the weight overhead just a split second sooner so that you can get the rep count and transition into your next repetition. Psychological challenges like trying not to focus on the amount of fatigue that your body is experiencing and kind of turning off the little voices in your head when your brain is telling you to stop but you know that your body can keep going. All of these things are why I, I continue to practice kettlebell sport. It's, it's almost like a game or a puzzle trying to get all of those pieces to fit exactly the way that they're supposed to fit on the day that they need to fit together which is the competition day. And in order to get those pieces to fit together, I've changed quite a bit since the last video. I no longer compete in the biathlon event. I've switched to long cycle, which I think caters much better to my strengths and just the way that my body is built. I've changed the way that I prepare for each training session. I stretch a lot more. Um, and I find that the more mobile and the more flexible that I become, the easier it is to assume the positions that I need to for my sport, which in the long run, wards off fatigue and allows me to get just a couple more reps when I'm in that fatigue state. Not to mention it helps me relax better when I'm in the, the fixated position or I'm resting in the rack position during the clean and jerk portion. I really try to focus on sleeping more and I've integrated quite a bit more tools into my, into my toolbox that really allow me to kind of gauge how recovered I am from my last training session. Um, this has been a game changer for me because I know when I need to rein back the intensity and the volume and when I can, tr I can push full steam ahead. Our bodies aren't meant to train at 100% intensity 100% of the time and these tools allow me to kind of gauge that and it's, it's made a huge difference in how I approach my training and how I set my training up from day to day. Right now as we're recording this I'm, I'm actually preparing for two competitions one which will take place on November 1st, which I'm kind of using as a, as a tune-up or a, a test competition to kind of see if there's any quick changes that my coach and I need to make to my training to prepare me for the big tournament of the year, which is the IUKL World Championships, which are being held in Hamburg, Germany this year. Um, that's going to be exciting. I think it's going to be a great opportunity not only to gain some extra experience on the platform, but I'll be able to witness really the best lifters in the world do their thing and, and leave it all on the platform to, to shoot for that world championship. 